All right, we just cut in halfway through the intro, which I don't think I've ever actually recorded. I don't think I've ever recorded this. Maybe we should watch it near the end of the video, or the end of the game, I mean. But speaking of that, speaking of the end of the game, boys, I got good news and I got bad news for you. Let's load in here. The good news is we've been successful in the TV world. Um, it's gonna snow tomorrow, right? Ready for harvest in about minus two. Yo, look at th look at this as a bug. Look at this. This is a bug. The vegetables you planted should be ready for harvesting in about minus two days. What will you do? I'm just gonna leave it there and see what happens. Negative two days. Okay. Um, yeah. So we've been successful in this game. Uh, in the TV world with Mr. Adachi, if you've been following along. Uh, that's the good news, and the bad news is, with success brings fewer and fewer portions of the game that are new. And eventually we're going to run out of game. I mean, there will always be game, but we're going to run out of new game. Uh, hopefully Persona 5 is just as good. I've, after seeing some of the feedback about the quality of Persona 3... Um, FE, is it FES? No, it's portable. Persona 3 portable on Steam. I'm, I hesitate to jump in on that. Um, I might, I usually try not to mod games at all when I first play them. And I, if I play them again, I might mod them. Or if the dr games drag on and they're not that fun, I might mod them just to add some fun. But Persona 3, what with the, the, the textures and the audio, especially the audio. Um, but anyway, it's all hearsay. Uh, I, I need to go check it out for myself. But anyways, back to Persona 4. Yeah, so the bad news is we're running out of game. We got three months left in the game, roughly. And the, the true, the true bad, the in-game bad news is this. Let me open up the notebook here. The in-game bad news is this. We have, let me count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten more social links that are not max. And between those ten, the average sits around level six, level five or six, I would say. Uh, we might not be able to level 10 all these guys. And the reason is because a few of them are contingent on the day of the week. And they overlap, such as the tutor and the young mother. The tutor is level... Where are we at with the tutor? Oh, shoot, I, I miscounted. We don't have 10. I think we have 11. Or how, however much I said earlier we have left over, we actually have... Add, add two to that. Add two. Actually, not just one, two. Because we have tutor and Naruto. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we gotta make all that fit all while having fun and doing good normal student school life stuff and, you know, enjoying events and whatever and hopefully not skipping through a bunch of calendar days. Um, we gotta do that. And we gotta do that before, you know, supposedly I leave. I, I hope that the quote-unquote true ending does not have me leave. Uh, it sounds like it sounds like I'm already committed to it, even dojima sons telling me we're gonna go back. That's pretty sad. But uh, here's another thing, you know, I wasn't gonna drink beer while I play anymore, but let's crack some open right here. Like, ah, nice. Some Asahi. A toast to, uh... Well, I don't, I don't I'm not actually toasting anyway. Um, let's, let's, uh... I'm gonna enjoy, I'm gonna enjoy some, some beer after our recent victory. And then for anyone else who's tagging along, enjoying too. Here's to you guys. Okay, without further ado, let's get on it. It's currently raining right now. Um, I think we wanted to check the Midnight Channel, right? So if I try and go outside, they'll tell me to check the Midnight Channel. Yeah, you need to return to your room and, and watch the Midnight Channel. So, you should check the Midnight Channel. Now, as far as we know, there's nothing left to do new in the TV world. But we're about to confirm this. It's raining outside. Will something appear on TV? Man, what a good game. Oh, and I'll, uh, by the way, okay, let's watch this. The TV seems to remain blank. Interesting. The Midnight Channel doesn't even show up with nobody on it. It's just nothing. I just got off the phone with Chie. Have you checked your TV? Yeah, nothing came on. For you either? I didn't see any glow or anything. It's definitely raining outside, though. Does this mean the Midnight Channel's off the air? I'm being serious here. Now that we beat that Amino Sagiri, the case is completely over, right? I gotta thank you, man. So he's asking me a question. I gotta thank you. Now, like, when it comes to role-playing and dialogue, I'm gonna pretend that everybody is, like, roughly player level 92, or around, around, excuse me, protagonist level, and that, you know, they all contribute equally. Um, let's just play it that way, right? Um, any other way would be a disservice. But anyway, let's pretend that he actually fought with us or whatever, right? We gotta show, uh, we gotta show credit where credit is due. Um, you know, leader... 
You win as a team, you fail as a team. That's how it works. Oh, uh, thanks. <laughs> I should be the one thanking you, though. You did go completely apeshit and want to murder somebody. Let's not forget that. Dude, that was scary. Like, he wanted to, he, he wanted to kill somebody. That was pretty, that was pretty dark. Yeah. All of us together. We did it. Man. All these things are coming back to me. Like, when I put you on the spot and asked you to be our leader... <laughs> what am I getting all worked up for? It's because, man, as the Chinese parable goes, all good feasts must come to an end. I don't even think they say the word good. I just think they say all feasts must come to an end. The others must all be super happy right now, too. I bet Chi is practically crying her eyes out. All right, I'll call you again later. Yeah, me as the human, yeah, I'm a bit emotional. I'm already, I'm already very sad and depressed about the game coming to an end. But yeah, I, I, I gotta, I gotta, like, I gotta role play a little harder. All right. Yeah, we just won, baby. Well, let's just, let's sit here and savor this. Seriously though, thanks. Well, I, I shouldn't say won. Right? It appears we won. That's all I know. The case has ended, and the Midnight Channel seems to have stopped broadcasting as well. The Midnight Channel was surely never come on again. Okay, and we do trust the words of the protagonist. And the way you can tr not protagonist, the uh, the omniscient narrator. And the way you can trust the words of the omniscient narrator is when the omniscient narrator slips in some sarcasm and things like that, jokes, which they've done before, right? So they're they're speaking candidly always. You decide to go to bed early for today. Man, peaceful days pass and the end of the year comes. But you're not you're not gonna No, 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 oh, no, stop doing that. God, you scare me every time you do that. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, that's that's actually messed up right there. So I actually could have finished Adachi one week later. The question is, would I have seen any of the Christmas skits? I don't know. Like Christmas cake and stuff? I don't know. But that's that's a week's worth of social links, man. Yo, this game's got it out for me. You received a text message. It's from Yosuke. Let's get everyone together and visit the shrine today. How about we meet up in front of the shrine in the shopping district? I hear they're gonna hand out Amazake. I'll contact the others. See you there. Okay, it's New Year's Eve. You'll be taking a trip to the shrine with everyone. It looks pretty cold outside. You recall that you have midwinter clothes in the drawers. Obtained midwinter outfit. Yeah, yeah, you can't be skipping days on me like this, man. That, That's a week's worth of gameplay right there. Tatsuhime Shrine. Sorry. Whew. Sorry to keep you waiting. Wait, huh? Is it just you here, senpai? Yeah, he just blasted out of his door. Seriously? This is the time we all decided on, isn't it? I was watching TV at home, but it seems like I fell asleep. When I woke up, that New Year's show, Toshi Koshi Kuro Toshi, had already started, so Tosh I rushed out here. Toshi Koshi Kuro Toshi. What the hell? Toshi... Would be year. A Koshi? I don't know. Waste? I have no idea. Kudu Toshi? The coming of the year? I don't know. Sorry, we're late. Hellos! Yo, this guy's styling. I'm sorry, Sensei. It's all Yosuke's fault. It's all Yosuke. I'm sorry. It's all his fault. It was cold waiting here. It's all right, man. Why would I hold it against you guys? Ah, you're such a good bear. Me? It was 100% your fault. I 100% believe Yosuke. But I am sorry about making you wait. We had an emergency at work. Everyone had to refill all of the lucky draw bags. We just finished a second ago. Because a certain someone just crammed a bunch of stuff into the bags without checking any of the prices. Nice. <laughs> do, 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 do. Talking about you, you little... Moving on. Uh, hey, Sensei, where's Nana-chan and her dad? You doofus. You can't come out on a cold night like this. Dojima-san and Nanako-chan just got temporarily released from the hospital for the holidays. They aren't healed yet. <laughs> you doofus. Well, then, where's everyone else? Why are only the guys here? D don't tell me. Is this going to be some lame guys night celebration? <laughs> No lovely girls. Hey man, guys' night's good every now and then. Hell no. Man, they're late. They should have gotten here a while ago. Yeah, the bell's chiming. I wonder if they're all meeting up at Yukiko Senpai's house first. You know, like to put on their kimonos. K kimonos? Did you hear that, S -s -s Sensei? Kimonos! You're getting your hopes up too high. Dude, calm down, man. That's it. <laughs> Kim I don't know, I'm not terribly excited for kimonos. <laughs> Calm down, bro. 
Right. You guys are getting way too hot and bothered. You guys? Hey, I wasn't... It's written all over your face! I didn't know Kanji was Although actually I in on it. I must say, seeing Reset in a kimono would be quite a sight. Okay, I, this might be total... I might, I might sound like a doofus now if I said this a moment ago. I've completely forgotten already. We have a moment, a moment of, of uh, recognition for Kanji. Kanji the MVP. Kanji is my... Dude, Kanji is my boy. Kanji is my guy. Coming through hard on those last three fields in the TV world. Especially the final boss. God damn, Kanji. Dude, I love this guy. Oh, maybe Naoto's in one too. Okay. Okay, now I'm starting to get a little... A little what? I'm sorry about the wait. Sorry. We went to buy some heating packs and ended up running late. We're sorry. Uh... <laughs> uh what's with the non-reaction? What? Where are your kimonos? Why would I be in a kimono? We aren't going to be out long enough to bother with putting one on. See, that's what I thought. I told you all that from the beginning. Ow, my ears! You got your hopes up on your own. Don't take it out on us. That's an interesting shirt she is wearing. A girl has to save her best outfits for the moments that count the most. Huh? A kimono's one of a girl's best outfits? Oh, bro, don't even. Wait, you're implying that you're out of our league. She wasn't implying. <laughs> My heart just froze over. <laughs> um, shouldn't we be more mindful of the time? If we don't hurry, we'll have to do the countdown here at the entrance. Oh, no! We're going to miss the two-year shrine visit! This is my first time being with friends on midnight of New Year's Day! I'd always just spent it with everyone at the inn until last year. Yo, I'm still bent over skipping a week of in-game time. Come on now. I worked I worked hard so that I could have less time to play the game. Are you kidding me? Actually, I'm glad we were all able to celebrate today here peacefully. Yeah. Yeah. All right, everyone, let's get going. <laughs> Still makes me cold. They're handing out Amazaki over there. Uh uh. Not till New Year's. Hey, how huh? long till next year? Uh. Oh. oh, it's almost time. <laughs> okay! Five, four, three, two, two one! one. <laughs> Happy New Year! Happy New Year, year both of you. <laughs> Thank you. It's not your <laughs> celebration. <laughs> no, none for you, Rise. <laughs> and the same goes for you, Yukiko. Oh, come on, just let it go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's snowing. Wow. Oh. I told you it was cold. Do you think the snow will pile up? This is what they call a white New Year's, huh? No one calls it that. It's a new year, but you're still Moranji. What? Moranji. Moranji. Oh. Well, hey, hey, what are you nodding for? <laughs> Moranji. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. New Year's is massive in Asian culture. The leading group has crossed the big Showa Bridge, and they're using their final kick as they prepare to hand off. The runners for the next leg wait for their turn to don the sash and run. This relay point was changed in 2009. Ah, there you are. Oh, this is, um... All right. What's this are called? we ready, then? Osechi? I think Happy it's called... New Year. Osechi, maybe? That's, um... I don't even know how to describe it. It's just an assortment of food that's popular to eat uh, in Japanese culture on New Year's Day. You typically order them from some local restaurant. And they'll, you can go pick them up uh, in person, or they'll be delivered. And it's just a bunch of different kinds of food. Small little, <clears throat> uh, like it's like a, a lot of small dishes, I guess. Happy New Year! I hope things go well until spring. No, dude. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too, big bro. 
will probably still be a bit of a pain for you, but may things go well this year. In any case, you've changed over this past year. Yeah, my heartstrings are uh, 10 gauge with some of these people. You've got a man's face now. I didn't see you while I was hospitalized, and that's what made me notice. Interesting. I feel relieved since so much happened. No, I'm not a man yet. <laughs> Leave it to me. Yeah, I guess we'll just say thanks. You know, I think, I mean, you know, it would be humble to say I'm not a man yet, but dude, after literally saving the world, I think we can say thanks. Though, it is odd for me to say that since I'm the one that caused you such trouble. <laughs> Dad, can we eat yet? <laughs> All right, let's dig in. Man, I can't thank those guys working the holiday at Jeunesse enough. I wandered over there and they even had New Year's food. Thanks for the food! In Japanese, let's eat. The thanks for the food phrase is itadakimasu, and it's, uh, it's the equivalent of saying grace literally over the food. Except it just means I received this humbly. Nanako, what do you want to eat? I'll get it for you. I don't know what kobu is. Some kind of something rolled, a seaweed roll, a kelp roll. I don't know. That's kombu. I don't know kobu. The time spent with your family passes by. Do do not roll that calendar. Okay. Thank God. It seems the Dojima family won't be going to pay their first visit of the year to the shrine in consideration of Nanako's decision. This is called Hatsumode, actually, and if uh, you were watching around the beginning, I actually mentioned that I did that this year. Um, it's just the first shrine visit of the year. Another very popular, not very popular, another, another nationwide tradition. You've received one messages. What the hell's with this text today? Happy New Year. I hope that we will get along this year as well. Yukiko's message. If you have time today... Wait, I received one messages? So it could have been like two, three, four, five. Oh, wait a second. This is my girlfriend. So if I actually had multiple girlfriends? but I Oh, that's sad. If you have time today, why don't we go and pay our first visit to the shrine? Just the two of us. Go to the shrine with Yukiko. Hell yeah. You decided to go to the shrine with Yukiko. Your first ever... Event as a couple. Katsuhime Shrine. It appears that Yukiko hasn't arrived yet. Sorry to keep you waiting. Okay, wait a second. Oh, nice. You got the kimono on, which I guess I'm supposed to, you know, raise my eyebrows at. Um, can we not catch bugs anymore? Do we just have to... We just have to use the small supply of bugs we have to fish in the ocean. I don't know. Were you waiting long? I hope not. I couldn't decide which kimono to wear since I thought you'd notice the smell of mothballs. <laughs> How do I look? Although, I'm always wearing a kimono, so it might not be all that different than usual for you. It's beautiful. Now, you look great in it. This kind of kimono is completely different from the ones I usually wear. So I'm not used to wearing it, but I'm glad that you like it. Yukiko is blushing. Many people talked to me on my way here. A lot of them were our regular customers and our suppliers. Well, look at this. There's a building right behind. I guess that's Kanji's place right behind. This is an angle we haven't seen before. <clears throat> Excuse me. It would, would be really interesting to get unlocked camera and uh, rotate the camera and see what's around here. I guess they thought I was working since I was wearing a kimono. They all told me it must be tough to have to work today. <laughs> I think this is the first time I've been hiding something from everyone in the shopping district. But for some reason it felt... exciting. Yeah, young love. And my heart's pounding even more right now. What wish will you make today? May this year be peaceful. <clears throat> All right, so we wished for things outside of our personal circle. I should, no, that's not true. How do I say this? Outside of my romantic circle, back before Yukiko and I were an item. Oh, look at this. Right to the right of Yukiko's um, portrait, there's little snow, like rabbits or whatever those things are. <laughs> um, so we wished for, you know, like, 
world peace and whatever. <laughs> that, that kind of stuff. But now, you know, Yukiko and I are not here, so... Um, now it's fine to, you know, wish for her directly. Thanks. I was going to make a wish about you, too. I guess we really think alike, don't we? Then let's both make wishes for each other. I'm sure they'll come true. Please heed our earnest wishes, God. Do you want to draw fortunes? Oh God, please be a good fortune. What if it's RNG and I draw a terrible one? There was a box holding Omikuji sealed fortunes placed in front of the shrine. Pick one and think impure thoughts. What is this, dude? Pick one and think impure thoughts. Oh my god. Okay, every single time there's any of this kind of impure action and romance involved, right? It's always been a complete disaster in this game. So we're not gonna think impure thoughts. Your fortune says medium blessing. I got a small blessing. Looks like I'm a step behind you. And those are both considered... Um, unfavorable. <laughs> that might not be so bad. I do like your back, after all. Oh, oh, I shouldn't say that. We're only talking about fortunes right now. Oh, my. Yukiko is blushing. Oh, ooh, la la. Our visit to the shrine went by in a flash. Enjoyable times always end so quickly. The night comes so much faster when I'm with you. I never thought such things before. When I'm with you... I experienced so many new things. Do you want to go to a cafe or something? Oh, but it's still the first three days of the new year. Cafes may not be open. So, yeah, in the new year in Japan, it's like a turbo siesta, and a lot of stuff is closed. There was, um, you had to fact check me on this, but I think there's actually a law. If not a law, then it's a, I guess it wouldn't be a law. It, it's a, it's a formal request from the government for select convenience stores to not close. Because if they do close, parts of society just shut down. The people that pay bills there or send and receive packages. I guess, I don't think you can send, but you can receive packages from there. You might even be able to send actually. And uh, a lot of people um, even just live off of the, the small food, small snacks and, and, and uh, lunch boxes there. Yeah. But besides that, yeah, cafes and whatever. A lot of them just shut down. Let's just go to your house then. Let's just go to my house then. Uh, okay, yeah, don't don't invite myself over to her house. Let's just go to my house then. Are you sure? If it's not a bother, then all right. <laughs> Although with my kimono on, that might not be such a good idea. I might mess it up if I'm too excited. <gasps> That's not what I meant. <laughs> Nanako-chan will be there, so I was just thinking about playing with her. She was all alone at the hospital. Uh, hey, why are you laughing? <laughs> Talking yourself into a hole. <laughs> that's it. Let's just go look for a shop that's open. Damn, blew it. You spent a long time together with Yukiko. You're back. Oh yeah, about the garden. I checked out yesterday, and uh, some of the vegetable the vegetables were worth saving. The negative two-day prime vegetables. Obtained crack wheat by two. That's not some of the vegetables. That's all the vegetables. Hell yeah, brother man. Okay, it's snowing now, so we don't we can't plant, right? The snow is piled up, so you can't grow any more vegetables. So you should return to your room. It wow, it even tells me just to GTFO and rest. It's like don't even go outside. Return to your room and rest. Can we go outside? It's New Year's. You should return to your room and relax. It's New Year's. You should... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Rest. Ah, uh, Yukiko. My darling lover girl. Where is that from? The Sandlot. The Sandlot. Oh, Windy Peppercorn. My darling lover girl. Wow. Look at all the snow. Looks like we got a lot of snowfall this year, huh? A snowman, huh? I'd help you make one, but the doctor told me to avoid bending over so that my back would heal up. Boy, guess who's gonna have to make the snowman? What about you, big bro? Uh, the doctor told me... Yeah, that... That sounds troublesome. <laughs> Let's make one together. 
course. Yay! Nanako, don't get too worked up, all right? You'll get sick and have to stay at the doctor's for a long time. Okay. If you get cold, come right in. Can you promise that? Big bro, that's amazing! How did you get it so big? Look, just don't mess it up and build it right in front of the doorway. Because I'm an adult! How did you get it so big? Because I'm an adult. You need strength. You need guts. Um... You know, I feel like the last two are douchey. You need strength? You need guts. You don't. You definitely don't need guts. Strength. Uh, you need to be. You need. You need to be tactile. You need to be, I guess, an adult. I guess. Whoa! Being an adult is amazing. Dojima's probably just like, shut the hell up, dude. When I become an adult, let's make a huge snowman together. Nanako seems happy. All right. I think you two have done enough. Let me help now. I think I can take it home from here. Take it home? Hey, that's not fair. We did all the work, and you could actually build it? Nah, man, Dojima, get in on this, homie. I'll leave it to you. Yeah? Just watch and learn. <laughs> You're not the master of snowmen in this house yet. Roger that. There. Hell yeah. It's small, but it's come together well, and you built it right in front of the doorway, dude. It still needs a face, though. We should draw one for it. Draw? We're gonna draw a face? Hey, big bro, I want it to look like Teddy. Wait, what if this is actually interactive and I have to actually draw? And also, is the address right above Nanako's head, is that actually clipping into the model of the wall? Or is it just broken off? Can you make the face look like Teddy? You decided to adapt the snowman in a Teddy-like way. Okay. It's a Teddy man! <laughs> it looks so cool! Okay, nice. You're pretty good. Good for you, Nanako. Thanks, big bro! Nanako is very happy. You're glad that you put effort into it. If we don't go in soon, you'll catch a cold. Hey, Nanako, the good thing about snowmen is that as long as it's snowing, it's still going to be here. I'll make you something hot to drink. Well, it'll just be coffee. Okay, make it sweet for me. You feeding little kids coffee, man. Hey, what are you going to do about your New Year's greetings? Okay, so there's this thing called, um... Well, unfortunately, I totally forgot the name just now, but they're New Year's postcards, also nationwide popular. What the hell are they called? Show... Oh, show... I don't remember. It's good to relax, but shouldn't you go say hello to all your friends? You feel that you're sure to run into someone if you go out. Will you go out? Of course I'll go out, man. Go out until evening? Yes. Hey, my first friend. Wait, can I check this? can't check. Happy New Year's! It's sure snowing a lot, isn't it? I bet this is something you don't see much in the big city. It may be cold, but don't you think it's soothing, too? I'm planning on taking the first three days of the New Year off to recharge my batteries for the rest of the year. Hope to do business with you then, too, mister. Okay, so will I still get to use this garden and plant? Oh, damn. The song. Oh, that song's messing me up. The garden is covered in snow. 
Oh, this song is messing me up. Wait, I can't ride my... Okay, I'm so glad I unlocked the beach, because I don't think I can ride my scooter. But if I go to Dojima Residence, I don't think I can ride my scooter, can I? There's no reason to ride around anymore. Okay, so we can't actually test, even if they're... Oh, the cat's gone. Huh. Man, things are... Times are a-changing. Times are a-changing. No littering. So I'm gonna go with floodplain. Wait, who... Oh, this is, uh, that, that young boy's mom. Happy New Year. Hello there, and Happy New Year's. Thank you for all your help last year. I hope this year will be wonderful for you. Well, I need to finish shopping and head back. My relatives are coming over to visit. I haven't met up with some of them in a while, so I'm feeling a little nervous. There are still others that you met last year whom you haven't greeted. You should go greet them. It's New Year's, but things are busy inside the house. I can't even sit and watch TV. <laughs> My daughter's still not back to full strength yet, so I've been doing the cooking, cleaning, and laundry. I really hope she gets well enough to do these things herself soon. Isano. My. Ah, Orphan-chan. <laughs> you always seem so energetic. I'm sorry, I'm currently in mourning, so I can't do a New Year's greeting with you. This is another thing. There are certain phrases you say on New Year's to um, other Japanese people, or rather, I, I guess I should say people in Japan. And if you, uh, if you ascribe to Japanese culture and tradition, there are certain greetings you cannot use to people who have had a loved one die in... Um, a loved one? Is that fair to say? I guess it's not, not just family member, but also loved one. Uh, die in the past year. And so we actually can't do the formal greeting with her. Happy New Year. But I'm glad that we were able to meet. Let's talk together again sometime. And of course, in, in English, we just say Happy New Year, but there's, there's multiple phrases in Japanese. Let's go greet the others. It's you. Were you able to catch the Guardian? Uh, I was not. Check this out. I don't think I can run over here. I can't, but if you... Look, look at these tracks. They're like some mega, mega bird tracks. But look, there's like a, some den over there. That's pretty cool. And also, this girl. I guess she moved. What, what the hell is this? Samegawa floodplain. And if I go right here, right here, look, bushes. Check. Something's on the ground. It's a wallet. Obtained round wallet. Okay, wow. So if I come right here, there's bushes. Hey, wait, 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 Oh, yo! There was that girl, the fox quest, right? I thought I... Oh, damn it! I thought I had to fish. Can I fish? New Year's greetings take priority today. <laughs> okay, maybe I can still fish. But the wallet was right here this whole time. Damn, I didn't have to fish. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna meet that lady here, though. Hey, Happy New Year. I hope you can continue to visit Sozai Daigaku this year, too. My wife suddenly collapsed the other day. The doctors gave her an IV and sent her home, but said she's overexerting herself. She's gotten better, but she still needs to be resting. She went back to work anyway, though. I don't want her to relapse, but she says that her job is the only reason she has for living. Damn, that's an all-too-common theme here in Japan. Okay, got the cat. Flops news. Happy New Year, cat. Happy New Year. I feel as though time has gone by faster since the New Year began. Yeah, dude, this game skipped seven days. That was right before the New Year. God, look at that cat walk. Oof. The case is over, and I have nothing left to accomplish here. But I thought, well, I may as well enjoy a normal life with the rest of you. So once again, may this year be fruitful for us both, Senpai. Thank God. Thank God you're still here. Leave the floodplain? Yes. Look, I can't have I can't have my social life fall apart that fast, alright? I can't my heart can't take it. I'm a weak man. Happy New Year. Man, New Year's already? This went by way too fast. Well, that just shows how awesome we did last year. We solved the case after all. All that's left is to have some fun with the time we have left. I've already thought up some plans for the winter break. <laughs> You're gonna be part of it, like it or not. Let's make this year a great one too, partner. Oh, Sensei, Happy New Year. I got New Year's gifts. Yosuke's mom and dad gave them to me. Now I can buy tons of snacks, or so I thought. But I might save it for a while. I'm gonna use it to buy presents for Nanachan so we can all have fun together. May this year be as great as the last one. I don't know if we can consider last year a good year. Um, start, start, the, go to the beach. So apparently you can still ride the scooter.
New Year's greetings take priority today. Okay. <laughs> so there's no one at the beach. Anyone is like, I? I? Chillin' at Okina? Oh, today ends in two. Let's play. New Year's greetings take priority. Yeah, for sure, dude. Hey, kid. Happy New Year. Congrats. You got a lot of energy to be riding around your bike this early in the year. I hear Ina, but got a lot of snow. I'm jelly. Uh, why don't you come visit? Awesome, I'll go if you'll be my tour guide. Speaking of creepy girl, she's creepy. Oh, Speaking of snow, the cottage at the ski resort has sightings. Sightings of what? And oh, never mind. Don't feel like you have to explain. Happy New Year. This is the Okina Station office. Can I help you? I didn't think that the serial killer would be a police detective. I'm too shocked for words. Why? Happy New Year! You must really like movies to be here so early in the year. I like DVDs. Oh, dude, this is back when DVDs were a thing. I like DVDs, but there are certain films that deserve to be seen on the big screen. I hope you and me will both be able to catch some amazing films this year. Happy New Year! 30 Frames gives you the hottest new movies and the most addictive crane game. We hope to be your number one destination into the new year. It's already New Year's? I was supposed to get so much more done last year. Well, it's the new year. You can get a head start now. Right, so when should I ask that girl about the movie? Who cares? If we don't go soon, the limited edition red bean flavored popcorn is going to sell out. Why, hello. Happy New Year's. I'm exhausted from all the year-end work. Good thing I kept busy, though. <laughs> Wouldn't want to waste my time. I went back to my parents for New Year's, although I was only there a couple days. Excuse me. <laughs> My parents have the most horrific fashion sense. I want to give them something that's more in. I thought these New Year's sales going on everywhere would be the perfect chance. If only Croco Fur would hold one. Hey, Happy New Year. I had a relaxing time with my family over the holidays. It had been a while since I had a nice break like that. It was all thanks to my family. I'm here today with my family, though it's not like I can buy anything for my kids. But seeing the excitement on their faces makes me want to work harder. Well, Happy New Year to you. Crockle Fur is the most fashionable store around here, isn't it? I'm disappointed they don't have any New Year's sales. Happy New Year. I didn't think I'd ring in the New Year like this. It's been a while since I was on solid ground this time of year. What do I really want to do? I don't know, but I have to go. Uh, they're closed until the 3rd, yeah? That makes sense. Okay. High school closed, we just go to the shopping district. Just go to the shopping district. Ayane. Happy New Year! Are you enjoying the new year? I just came back from my first shrine visit of the year. It's technically not my first visit. I went with my family yesterday, but I forgot to pray for something, so I went back to make an extra offering. I made sure to pray a lot about you too, so you can feel secure. I'm sure those prayers will protect you this year. It's the bus stop. Where do you want to go? Oh, dude, I can actually go to the hospital. There's Dojima-san and, and Nanako-chan. <laughs> Inaba Municipal Hospital. You wonder where Sayako went after quitting her job here. Oh, I'm gonna see Sayako. Aren't you the boy who- Oh, wait, wait, Nanako-chan and Dojima-san are at home. <laughs> Aren't you the boy who was working here part-time? Are you wondering about Sayako-san? Who knows where she is now. Although, a New Year's card did get delivered here to the hospital. It didn't say where she was, but from the sound of things, she's studying hard and doing well. Oh, it had a little note for you too. I think it was, let's do our best. You wonder if Sayako was ringing in the New Year somewhere, though there seems to be little doubt that she's well. You decide to return to town. That's sweet. Wait, wait, what about the... What about the daycare and all the other stuff? Happy New Year! Oh, Orphan Coon, Happy New Year. Wait, I've already said that so many times this year, but I didn't think I'd see you today, too. That makes me happy. Let's go somewhere together again. It's winter break, so it might be nice to go on a trip with you. There are still others that you met last year. Yeah. It's been cold these days, but those are the best days to read. Spending your time relaxing with a kotatsu. Sometimes you look up at the snow outside and turn a page. You're concentrating on reading, but it's kind of dreamlike at the same time. That's what I love about winter reading. Bookstore still open. Happy New Year! 
Happy New Year's. Let's make this one a great year, too, Warp and Coon. We went through a ton of stuff last year, but I'm glad we're all safe and ready to ring in the new year together. Oh yeah, this year instead of cutting the rice cake, let's cut and eat steak. It's practically the same thing, right? So you get a rice cake and uh, you buy it and you let it sit for like a week or two or something and it it gets a little uh, firm, uh, what with having sat out for some time. And then yeah, you just use a knife and uh, cut that stuff up and eat it. But uh, obviously she wants steak. Yosuke seems to be planning something for winter break. He said we should all go out and have fun. It's awfully cold today. It only makes my heart burn. Yeah, okay. Oh, yo, and welcome. Happy New Year's. I was thinking of taking New Year's off, but now that you've come around, my artistic ambition is waking up. I'm fired up and ready to create my first piece of the new year. I'm not going to sell anything. Uh, here we go. Man, that's a lot of snow. The wonderful wintry view. Speaking of snow, I saw the Egyptian woman at the shrine on New Year's. She was dressed the same as ever, so she really stood out. She didn't seem to care much about that, though. And honestly, she looked surprisingly good against that snowy backdrop. I wish I could be like her. Happy New Year! Senpai, I hope this year is awesome for you. I like New Year's. It's calm and quiet, but exciting at the same time. I feel like we had a pretty good year last year. I hope to have tons of fun with you and all the others this year, too. Let's make this year even better than the last. Yeah, hell yeah, girl, I hear you. Man, it's just Happy New Year. Something sad about doing this. Oh, uh, Happy New Year. Feels odd to run into each other like this in town. We always met in my room, after all. All, all one time. I feel a little nervous right now. Hey. What are you doing here on New Year's? Oh yeah, you live around here. Well, Happy New Year's. It's such a generic greeting, but I might as well say it. Wandering around like this isn't so bad every once in a while. Well, see you around sometime. Okay, I heard that guy. We received some new merchandise. It's snowing today, so I'm lowering the prices of everything. What do you got for me? Pour the HP to an ally. Pour the HP to all allies. And revives now at water stores, yeah. So I'll buy some of these just to Do I really need these? Okay, well, who knows? Talk. Hello, happy new year. Did you get a lot of New Year's gifts, young man? Make sure you buy lots here this year too. Yo, Happy New Year. There's never anything to do on New Year's. Well, I guess that's why everyone likes it so much. It's true, there's actually not a lot to do on New Year's because everything's closed. So I hope you have friends, basically. And the snow's insane, isn't it? It's pretty tough to get a good run going out here. And again, powering through the snow is a good way to build up my leg muscles, isn't it? All right. All right, I'm going to give it a try. A bunch of appetizing dishes are out on display, but the owner is nowhere to be found. Who are you? Woman. <laughs> it's quite chilly this year, though. I say that every year. Maybe it's because I stay home all the time during New Year's. Well, why not, as long as I get all my shopping done? New Year's dishes last long enough that I don't need to use the kitchen much during that time. That bizarre fog. Guess it wasn't Juness's fault after all. Dude, this this damn tinfoil hat wearing dude. Uh, all they show on TV is gibberish. I don't trust a damn word of it. Still, though, I'm impressed you came to greet me in the snow, boy. It's simple acts of kindness like that that make bonds between people, and that's good for everyone. What this town needs now is for people to come together. I should follow your example, boy. Yo, uh, I guess I should greet you, too. Happy New Year. I got bored of watching TV, so I'm taking a walk outside. I can't stand this boredom. If my friend was free, I would have gone skiing with him. Oh, well, I guess I'll go check out the bookstore. It's a, uh, no, it's not the textile shop. Happy New Year! Yo, Senpai, Happy New Year's! With the fog cleared, I'm feeling pretty good about this next year. I was bored on New Year's Day, so I went out on my bike. Then I got lost and ended up in the mountains. But this kind of snow is no problem for me, so we should go somewhere again. 
I'll follow you wherever you want this year too. So let's make it a kick-ass year. You wonder how the fox is doing? Maybe you should call out to it at the main shrine building. That'll be the last guy then. Uh, enjoy your winter break. It's a challenge preparing for the new term, but I can't wait for I can't wait for school to start. I keep thinking about how my students are doing. Well, I hope none of them have caught a cold. We already talked to her, right? Yeah, woman. The liquor store still can't do anything with it. Yo, check it out! Snow as far as I can see. But no matter how cold it gets, I'll keep riding like the wind. I've got spiked tires and a demon's drive to obey the speed limit. I'm a true biker through and through. Alright, who's at the shrine? We gotta talk to Chie? Is that right? Teddy and Yosuke? All the leaves of the trees have fallen off. Yep, and you can't... That's, that's, that's the beginning of a snowman. Except we can't do anything about it. Call the fox. You made sure there's no one around and called the fox. Oh, thank God. Thank God you're still here, brother. You bit the fox to ha wait, 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 wait. We've seen this perspective before, so maybe I have seen that building in the back of the shrine before and I just never calmed up on it. You bit the fox a happy new year. Yep. The fox seems happy. Oh, excuse me. Fox is gleefully looking at the offering box. It seems quite a lot of people left offerings on their first visit of the year. You part with the ecstatic fox and decide to leave. I think that's it. There are others with whom you have become acquainted over the past year. You should greet them. Come to think of it, you have yet to greet- Ah, uh, Marie and Margaret. There we go. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Ah, I remember now. I have something I must tell you. Marie has left this room. I suppose that means that her purpose here has come to an end. From now on, I shall take on her role. Dude, wait, if I can't meet with her, I can't, I can't... Level 10, all relationships. No. Is there anything else I may help you Dude, with Dude, Marie's today? level one. I didn't once spend time with her. I guess like twice, three times spent time with her. No, she's got to be here. She's got to be here. Check on Dwella. She's got to be here. I would like to see a Matador with the Mahama ability. The Matador is the Death Arcana. That's right, the card of death. But that's nothing to fear. Death is just one side of life, one facet of existence. Facet of existence. Faucet. One fast of existence. All things must die eventually, and in their places new lives are born. Hey girl, welcome to the AI era. One soul's dying breath becomes the first gasp of a newly born life. All things within you that are old and new, they will all die and be reborn again and again. Which of these things will you hold on to? <laughs> I can barely contain my curiosity. This is very Buddhist. Well then, I look forward to seeing what you can deliver. I'm sorry, we too do not know her whereabouts. I cannot feel her presence nearby and have no method of searching for her whereabouts. You don't have to worry about her. Please travel your own journey's path. Okay, wait. Either there was actually a, for a relationship fork in the road and because I'm such a low level, she's not around, or she's just permanently outside the velvet room and I can just hang out with her outside. I'm really hoping for the latter. You've greeted all the people that you have become- No! Wait, 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 hold on a second. Marie is the only... No, that's not true. Shu Nakajima, the guy, the guy I'm tutoring, he's level one. Marie is also level one. Yo, for real? Wait, is Marie really gone for good? No, then I boned it. I totally boned it. Return to your home? No. Really? Yo, this guy's breathing out. Wait, so if I just stand here, hold on. If I stand against the background like this. Oh, you don't see his breath unless he runs. But when he runs, this guy's like, oh, 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 oh. 
breathing hard. No, dude, Marie's gone. No. No, she's gotta come back. No, I can't have my world fall apart like this. No, I'm not good at accepting change. I'm not good at living with change. Marie, come back. Gas station man, where are you? Ayane, what? Where is everybody going? I guess that's it. Well, I guess we're going home then. One of those days, you know? What was this? I could check this? The manhole? I got a chance to check something, didn't I? Is it the scooter? Yeah, it's the scooter. Well, that's that. You're back. So you're home. Your skin is clammy and cold after walking around all day. Yeah, well... You feel a chill. Did you catch a cold? Dude, is this game just gonna bone me with, like, spending time? Oh, man, come on. You should return to your room and rest. Alright. Let's rest. Did I get a cold? It seems someone's at the door. There we go. Wait, oh, it's the third now. Happy New Year! Oh, wait, I already said that. Yeah. I hope we get along this year, too! But I already said that! That's true, you guys <laughs> were at Juness. I forgot about that. Sorry to drop by unannounced. I thought about calling you, but we were already in the area. Where, where was Chie? I've totally forgotten. Where was Chie? Did I meet Chie? <laughs> Thank you for inviting me in! Yeah, I didn't say that. You've gotta wait for him to actually invite you in first. Sheesh. Do you have any plans during the break? If you don't have anything lined up, why don't we go skiing? There are a lot of mountains in the area, and it seems that there are a lot of little ski resorts around here. It'll be a cheap trip because it's local, and the snow quality's supposed to be pretty good, too. What do you think? Okay, so on top of the TV, next to the woolly mammoths, you see those two... It looks like a snowman with a mandarin on top. Um, that is... The mandarin's quite large, but that is the New Year's rice cake I was talking about. So you just let that thing sit there for a while, and you eat it on the 11th, I think it is? Uh, on January 11th? Um, it just sits there until the 11th. Um, but those are two rice cakes, or two mochi cakes, and then on top is a little... Um, what do they call it? I'm totally blank on the word now. What do they call those things? Totally forget, but it's like a tangerine or a clementine. Let's invite everyone, bro. Actually, I've already asked Chie and Yukiko about their schedules. They both said that they're free too, so I'm going to start making serious plans for this. Mekon. The little orange thing is called a Mekon. Yukiko's usually busy during this season too. If she's free, I'm pretty sure everyone else should be able to come. Oh, bro. <laughs> she's free, let me tell you. Ooh, another overnight event. I'll leave ski tracks of love under the frigid sky. Shut the hell up, Teddy. Hey, Yosuke, do we have a plan for our second chance at a surprise sneak in? Why are you assuming that we're going to try that again? What happened last time was bad enough. Oh, uh, yeah. It ain't over till it's over. Teddy, Teddy is speaking truth here, but dude, not with this perv. That doesn't make much sense. I mean, stop bringing that up. We're talking about skiing here. Skiing? Ah, you guys are here. Hello. Sorry for barging in. Oh, and Happy New Year. Oh yeah, same to you. Well, we're gonna go now. Sorry, but I'm leaving you to fend for yourself for a while. We should be back by the middle of the month. The middle of the month? Are you going on a trip? Nah, we're headed to the hospital. Nanako was only allowed to leave the hospital for New Year's. I need to take her back. Seriously? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have mentioned stuff like skiing at a time like this. No, that's, that's okay. Nanako's getting better, but the doctor wants to be sure, just in case. I'll be going along for physical therapy and to keep her company. Like a real father. I love this guy. But all right. I'm all better. You don't want there to be any germs hiding away inside you, do you? Oh. 
No fog germs. Don't worry. I'll be with you. It won't be for much longer, okay? This is a chance for Poppy well, Chulo to be here. Sorry, but I'll have to count on you to look after the house. See you, big bro. He's not, he's not a Poppy Chulo. Poor Sensei. Are you all alone at home again? I know. No, 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 no. I'll stay here with you until Nana-chan and Pops come back. You know what? That is actually okay. Stay? Wait, do you plan on moving in? Don't be stupid. He already has to do all the housework. I can't saddle him with some burden like you. <laughs> That's true, actually. Teddy apparently doesn't help out that much. Sensei, your life with me will be priceless. Just keep quiet. Go home. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna rely on my boy Yosuke here. I'm just gonna play it polite and just keep quiet. <laughs> I'm gonna rely on my boy Yosuke. Wow, we! Now that's my sensei. You're agreeing just like that, man. I'm no kanji, but you seriously are an easygoing guy. Now that that's decided, I'm gonna go get my bear longings and some snacks. Man, he's out of our control. Yeah. That's true, I don't know if Yosuke can actually do anything about it. Look, just let him spend one day here at least. If he bugs the hell out of you, you can send him back to me whenever you want. Yeah, that's my boy. And think about that ski trip. I'll send you an email once I've got all the details worked out. You're gonna go skiing with the others. At the same time, Teddy will live with you while Dojima and Nanako are away. You hope things will be okay. When Teddy returns with his belongings, you spend time helping him unpack. Thanks for helping me unpack. You know, he's just sitting there like Nanako. You and me sleeping under the same roof from now on. What the hell is this guy watching? An idol show? There's the forecast, yeah. I'll stay with you until Nanako trying to pops come home. You won't be lonely, Sensei. I'm trying to think funny, bastard. Uh, thanks, man. Thank you, since I'm not alone anymore now. What? Since he's not alone? That's just my way of returning the favor. I think you're referring to the TV world, not hanging out with Yosuke. Okay, can we go out? Your chill seems to have gotten even worse at night, yeah. Wow. Well, we're gonna save, that's for sure. And uh, I don't think I introduced the episode. This was episode 80, I believe. So catch us in episode 81, where we hopefully have enough time left over to build the rest of our social relationships. And please, God, let Mary Marie, let Marie come back. I promise I'll get your name right someday, Mary Marie Marie. <laughs>